How you guys doing? Real quick, uh, in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to find how to get your tax ID number, uh, otherwise known as your EIN number. Uh, uh, reasons why you will want this number is because um, you have better access to uh, suppliers and drop shippers uh, through uh, supplier directory services such as uh, uh, Worldwide Brands and also Sell Who. Uh, but uh, uh, this number is technically not required it it is it's required technically but it's not technically required to work with certain drop shippers and suppliers but you just if you have the number you have a whole list of better options uh, open to you so let's just get started uh real quick um had uh, uh two really cool people contact me to get uh t today uh tiffany and, and kevin uh uh one from uh i believe uh uh Colorado, the other one from Texas or whatever. I had good conversation with them. Um, I both kind of brought up some really good points, and and I wanted to uh, share this video uh, specifically uh, with Kev and some uh, other people. Uh, excuse me, Kevin, and um, uh, on how to find your tax ID number or how to get an, an EIN number. Excuse me, I'm jumping around here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to irs.gov. This is the government website. Okay, um, go there. Uh, and then once you get there, type in at the top over here at the right, you're going to type in E I N. Okay. Hit enter. All right. Now, uh, once you get there, you want to, uh, click on the first, uh, button that pop the first link that pops up. It says apply for an employer identification number E I N. Okay. So uh, click that, then you scroll down to the bottom. It's going to give you some information on exactly what it is, blah, 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 and all that stuff. Scroll down to the bottom. You're going to click on Apply Online Now. Okay? So you apply online now. All right? So now you got that. So now what you want to do is you can read through all this information. It just tells you what it is, what an what EIN number is, and all this other stuff or whatever. Uh, what you want to do now is you want to click on begin application. Okay. Now, after that, you're going to come over here. Uh, it's going to say identify. And basically, you're basically telling them what type of corporation are you or, or what identity are you for your tax ID, EIN number, whatever the hell you want to call it. Okay. So, uh, most of you guys who follow my YouTube, you're going to be a sole proprietor. So just click what the. Okay. I clicked on that. It shows you what that was, but you want to click on the button. You don't want to click on the, the link. Okay. Click on sole proprietor. It says uh, what, it, what a sole proprietor is includes individuals who are in business for themselves and household employees. Okay. So click on that. Click continue. Also, read through the other ones in case you got something different going on. All right. Now, it says you have chosen sole proprietor. This is just a double check to make sure you're getting the right stuff. Okay. Uh, it uh, you can read through this. It'll tell you exactly what it is, and then and, uh, it's kind of a, a dip. there's two different types. Uh, click the top one if you drop shipping, and you you just got business for yourself and things of that nature. Uh, but read through it. Pause this video. Read through it. Make sure you you got getting yourself in the right stuff. Okay. So click on at the top sole proprietor. Click on continue. Okay. Now. This is just going through it again. They just double check and they let you know what it is. Uh, this says sole proprietorship is a business owned by an individual. A sole proprietor can be self-employed individual or, or an independent contractor. Uh, also, um, all business incomes and expenses are reported on the individual's federal tax returns. Okay. A sole proprietor may or may not have employees. Okay. So that's that. So click continue. Okay. Now, it's going to ask you the reasons why you want a damn EIN number. <laughs> you read through these, and uh, for most of you guys who follow my YouTube, it's just going to be uh, started a new business. You guys are becoming new drop shippers. You're starting on this new e-commerce venture or whatever, so you, you're going to click on start a new business, and you click continue, and if I, if I believe I'm correct, the next stop, step is where I probably can't go any further with you guys yeah I'm, and I'm right uh now for for 
obvious reasons. I'm not going to put in my social security number, my name, and all. Well, you guys know my name, but I'm not going to put in my social security number and go through all the rest of the steps. If you made it this far, you should be fairly good on completing the rest of the steps. Now, once you go through the rest of the steps, what's going to happen is, uh, it's at the end of it, it's going to give you like a four or five digit number, or six digit number, or something like that, where you can use right away. Okay. The kick with that is, uh, even though you get this number, I, the IRS isn't going to be gonna, isn't going to finish doing their paperwork and stuff for another seven to ten days. So uh, even though you get this number, you can get over to to a worldwide brands or over to sell who and uh, uh, find you a supplier and put that information in. Uh, the thing is, if they run your, your your tax ID number right away to check the background of it, it probably won't show up uh, because. Um, the IRS ain't did what they got to do with it yet to make sure to, to get you out information and all that stuff, you know. So, uh, but there are some some suppliers out there that all they require is just the number just to get in there, and then you can see their listing, their prices, and all that stuff or whatever. So, once you get the number, get on over to Worldwide Brands, find you a supplier, and uh, get the the selling some stuff on eBay, Shopify, Bonanza, uh, wherever you're selling your stuff at. Uh, but the thing is, you need to get you a, 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 a supplier so you can get you some products to sell. Uh, same thing with Sell Who. Get on over there, find your supplier, get some good training. Um, look for the links for uh, Sell Who in the description. Also, Worldwide Brands, look for them in the description. Um, also, uh, with that said, uh, guys, get on over to my uh, Facebook page uh, where I share with you information on the Facebook page where you, that you normally won't ain't going to get in a video because maybe I just think it's just little snippets of good information that you guys need uh, that I won't share with my YouTube, but it should be on my, my Facebook page. Like this whole uh, tax ID information stuff is this article right here that I kind of uh, went over a uh, uh, DS domination with uh, 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 here. So anyways, so yeah, so if you guys are following my, my uh, drop shipping page on Facebook at uh, uh, www.facebook dot com forward slash dropshipping dot guy dot info uh you guys would would have seen this uh little um tax id information thing also on my facebook page i have some, uh the uh tablets to drop ship uh from amazon if you're going to use amazon as a drop shipper that's some real low level stuff but you can do that i got a link over here uh of the best ones that you can use also i got additional free ebooks um and things of that nature uh, yeah, so please get over to my uh, Facebook page, like the page, leave a comment, discuss some stuff, and let me know what you guys are doing. Uh, so with that said, God bless you guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you comment on the video, share this video, like this video, uh, and whatever else you got to do to the video, baby. God bless you guys. Have a good night.